Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Amy from Camden Public Library. Today, we are going to make watermelons for summer. So, you need a sponge, some pink paint, and some green paint, some scissors, and a black marker for the seeds. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the sponge into a triangle shape, like a triangle wedge of watermelon, like that. And we're going to use this to print. Put out some pink and a little bit of green. There we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my pink. I'm going to get it all over the watermelon. I have a large sheet of paper so that I can print it all over the place. What I'm going to do is just press it down all over. You can make cards with this. You could make like uh, wrapping paper. So I've printed all over the paper, leaving some space, but the paper has the um, triangle printed all over it. Now, to make my uh, rind, I'm just gonna get my finger green, and I'm just gonna go like this, right over the top, just like that. Just a smear, like that. Okay, and do that for all of them. Just smear across the back. It does not have to be perfect. Just all over. Like that. Do them all. Cut. And when I'm painting, I always have some wipes on hand because I tend to get messy. So, clean up. While you let it dry, just go wash your hands or clean up with a wipe. I wanted to share my favorite story, which is Peter Spit a Speed Peter Spit a Seed at Sue by Jackie French Kohler. But when I went to get it, it was out. It is summer after all. So, letting it dry. Once it is dry, color in some seeds. And there you go. And do it for all of them. So, I hope you check out the book. Happy summer. Enjoy some delicious watermelon and have fun creating this this um, watermelon decorative paper or wrapping paper or whatever.